everybody, Richard here, and welcome to the Nerd Life. Now, I know it's been a bit, um, well, I missed last week. I didn't do any videos last week. I had just a lot of stuff going on, trying to get situated, and I, I still have a lot of stuff going on, to be fair. But I have a dog, and that's all that matters. Right, Kylo? Right, Kylo Ren dog? Yeah? Mm, I'm a puppy. Yeah, he's still a puppy, and he's freaking massive. So, I am trying to open up my internet webs here. So, I can go to my Monday video. Because that's what this is. This is a Monday Q&A video. <clears throat> Poor dog. He's got teardrops on his face. So, I'm going to go ahead and pause the video. And I'll come back. Cause once my internet decides to stop being a boo hole and open up, but I'll be right back in a few. He may or may not be with me. We'll see. He might be annoyed by my loves and kisses. Okay, I am back. I finally have it opened, or it's opening. Let's put it at. What? Oh, oh, oh. <clears throat> I just looked into the black hole of darkness. Take a minute and figure out what that was. So we are on our way to my channel on the YouTube. And then my videos. And then the last video I did was two weeks ago each. That's my Monday video, and here it is. We are on it now. So I don't know how everybody's been doing. I hope everybody's been doing well. I've been keeping up with a few videos here and there. I've just kind of been, like I said, a lot of crazy stuff just going on. Just trying to get it all situated. Everybody knows I'm working on that commission. I'm still working on the painting commission. Um, it's just taking up a lot of time. And I know and most of you guys who knows know what it's like painting trim work on Marines. I didn't realize how many pieces of trim, gold trim, were on these uh, Thousand Sun Marines until I sat down and started painting them. And I'm like, holy mackerel. There's a lot. So, but I'm having fun and I'm enjoying it. You know, getting it done. It's just nice. It's, it's like a good test, to be honest, with you painting every day. It's kind of getting me back in that motion that I'm excited, once I'm done with this commission, to jump back on my builds, but then throw in some more painting in the middle have ideas for my warlord titan some more um freehand stuff i want to put on it a couple of different things um <clears throat> yeah i just i, I just i it's, it's really motivate me more to hobby now i just need to get more motivation to record that's the thing um i'm still like kind of weird about the recording right now trying to figure out what I want to record without messing up. I don't I don't know. It's 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 complicated. Yeah, you know, I've got Forge Bane. I could be like do a Forge Bane unboxing, but how many Forge Bane unboxings have you seen? Practically everybody I I've seen on there's yeah, there's they're out there for days. So I'm just gonna i I'm not gonna do that. I'm probably gonna do an armager build video but I know there's a few of those out there, but I'm going to do a conversion, not a conversion. I'm going to do a chop and screw version where I'm going to take it and I'm going to cut its legs up and pose it and get it in a cool, like at least do one of them in a really cool dynamic -y pose, you know? Um, and then I have a bunch of other things that I need, I need to build and I can do build videos. Uh, I have a, a Warhound Titan that I got recently, um, and yes, it is a recast. I just can't help it. I it, it come across them; they're cheap. I have the money for it. I jump on it because I want to build models, man. Um, if I never get to play with it in a Games Workshop store, I never get to play with it in some tournament or whatever. So be it. I don't care on that part. I'm not a tournament player anyway. I'm just here to have fun. Um, I talked to some friends of mine and stuff, you know, we were talking about recasting and stuff and recasters, not recasting, like us recasting, but having things that are recasted and how it can be, it, it's understandably a 
bummer in the community. Because, yes, it takes away from Games Workshop's uh, money, and it takes away from, uh, you know, the people who spent the, the bucks on the bigger models. At the same time, my end is, I buy Forge World when I can. If I have the money for it, I'll buy it, you know? But if something pops up, I'm not going to turn down a good deal because it's awesome. Or because it, it's it's a recasted version, you know? I guess that's kind of crappy saying that. It's like, oh, when they stop doing recasts, I'll stop buying them. <clears throat> anyway, I'm going to get off the recaster stuff because I know it's a really sore subject in this community. I've got tons of friends who, who uh, kind of are on two sides of the fence about it, you know, things like that. Like, I got a buddy who don't, he doesn't want it to be talked about on one of his web pages. Um, because people are, like I said, are really, it can start a, uh, I was going to say it can start a, a, a messy debate, but I think that's the way debates go nowadays, if you've noticed that. Um, people can't have opinions for anything anymore. Um, you get one side of the fence who's, they're so staunch in their one way that if you're not, and I'm, and I'm talking political for a moment. Uh, uh, politics, the, the people who are so hardcore, like say in our, our country, hardcore Republicans, hardcore Democrats, there is no way you would ever see those two people sitting down at a dinner table saying, oh, this is a nice slice of pizza, or this is some good pasta, or something like that. <clears throat> they can't agree on anything. And they would much rather have it if that person didn't exist in their world. And that's kind of sad that that's how we are nowadays. And, I'm not, I'm, and that's the collective we. That's just the overall we because it's just easier to say we. They go, oh, this person, that person. Yeah, and I'll point out names. So, <sighs> world's a messed up place, man. That's why I fill my news feed on Facebook with hobby stuff. Saves me the trouble of having uh, daily, what's the word I'm looking for? Daily, I just want to go hang myself on a tree. Yeah, it's awkward for a man who's on happy pills to say that, but it's the truth. This is the world's a, a pretty jacked up place, and it, it kind of bummed me out a bit. Do you know what doesn't bum me out? You guys. All of you are amazing, and I love you, and I think... Okay, see, I have a Pandora account that comes out of my PayPal... I thought that was supposed to give me no commercials. That was a commercial for Alexa. That's crap. That's why I'm listening to it right now. Uh, by the way, I'm listening to Dead South Radio. It is the bomb. If you like some like dirty southern country, bluegrassy type stuff, Dead South the way to go. It's kind of cool. Even though they're from Canada, so they're definitely not from South. <laughs> Anyway, let's get back to this video here. Uh, I've rambled on long enough, shall we? Let's get to some comments and questions from my lovely, awesome people. Woo! Um, Crew Andorra Silicis. Mike, I love you, guy. You're a great man. Uh, great catch up, definitely the Lord of Freehand. <laughs> because if we remember from the couple Q and A's ago, someone asked, "What is my signature thing?" And uh, I was kind of a little—I I guess I mentioned freehand because I do a lot of freehand lately. But um, it—you'll it, it, kind of get the answer here in a minute. What everybody else sees me as the Lord of. Um, <clears throat> thank you, Mike. I appreciate it, buddy. Wargamer Sean. Richard, awesome to watch. Warrior, your, your nerd life hat to Adepticon. Sweet! Was thinking about you someday, wanting to see you out there. I would really love to go to Adepticon someday. I'm glad it is getting better with the diabetes treatment. Totally is, totally is. She still has her, her momentary... Thing. Uh, we were hanging out with some friends, and 
Ava's little thing, a little you know, we just like joking around and stuff. So she was like, she was like messing with all of them. He's like, you be careful, I'm gonna knock the diabetes right out of you. She's like, ooh, go ahead, and, and just laughing, laughing at it. it was a good time. Um, but yeah, no, it's going really good. Um, speaking of which, I'm gonna mention that right now. Uh, um, I'm gonna pause on your comment real quick, Sean. Uh, I am, st I'm still doing that. Uh, diabetes awareness raffle soon well I can't say soon because I've, I've still got stuff to paint on it I'm working through this con commission to get to that to get it painted but Ava is going to camp guys um, we were able to get her filled out and signed up so we could at least get her ready to go and then we had a, a blessing come in and helped us out you know we paid we were able to put the down payment down first, the deposit, to get it locked in so we could make sure she could go. And then um, able to get some financial aid for it to help us pay for it. And then, yeah, and then the rest of it, we it just we were able to get it done. So she is going no matter what. So that, that way now this thing is going to go to benefit um, either try to get another kid to be able to go, donate to the camp. I'm either going to donate to the camp. Or I'm gonna donate to uh, the diabetic uh, diabetic research, and there's one specific. I'm gonna get a name for my wife, but he's a doctor who's been doing loops and bounds in the diabetic community, um, and helping. And he has a lot of good things coming out. Like, uh, I th I think it's the same guy who's trying to develop a pancreas, um, an external pancreas or something like that. I don't remember exactly what it is. I had hair in my mouth. Dog, would you stop it? We're just going to have a barking in the background if that's okay. I'm going to go ahead and turn off the music now. Alexa. Alexa. Stop. Milo. Stop. We got neighbors across the street. just wants to bark at. So, anyway, the diabetes thing, that is still coming up. Um, because I, I, need to, I also need to say thank you so much so much to several people through that so i need to do a video for that on its own um i've i've had a bunch of people donate things to me for that and i want to make sure that they understand i'm not i am doing this this is going to happen it's running i'm running behind on this i didn't just say this and all of a sudden you donated stuff and it's like ew i got models <laughs> no this is happening this is this is 100 percent what i make from this is going to go to pay the shipping and donate to um, the diabetes to, to diabetic research. I again, it's like I did this last year for cancer research, um, and I donated. Uh, I made seventy one dollars on that, and I donated that to cancer research. Um, you know, because that's near and dear to my heart too. Because my grandmother passed away cancer, and I had a friend who uh, family friend who died of cancer too, lost the battle of cancer. Um, and now having diabetes in my family, you know, my, my mom and my grandmother have uh, diabetes type two, um, and and it's it's you know it's a big hectic thing, you know it's a hectic thing with that too. But and having diabetes type one, and like being even closer to me, you know, my mom's close, but but my child, my own child, having something that's it, it's just it's a shocker. It's a it's a crazy shock so i'm gonna go back to you sean i'm sorry i just wanted to say that and get that out there sorry um diabetes treatment I hope all is well it's going good like i said it just it's it's uh i'm good i'm good much love to you what is your favorite dreadnought and why i like them a lot and i'm glad they get better in this are better in this edition i don't know the the rules and stuff wise by them but um honestly i think overall if you just go by looks alone the leviathan dreadnought is oh it's so sick it is one sick model there they're just something that's like a beef it's like a football player model it's like a contemptor dreadnought put on football pads and it's like let's go and I'm talking about American football, guys. 
Um, yeah, so I think that one's probably one of my favorite ones. And then the Plain Contemptor Dreadnought is a beast too. Posability, you know, is is an, another main factor why I like those. I was never a huge fan of the original Dreadnoughts to begin with. The little short one, the ones with the boxy ones. Um, I have a Redemptor to put together, and it looks pretty cool. And I, once I get to actually starting to build it, I'll really <laughs> determine how cool it is. Like if I can get some rad poses off of it. So we shall see. Um, thank you for your comment, man, and your question, sir. Let me go to the next one. The Raven. Um, and actually, two comments from this person. Uh, signature move, posing models. See? There's my signature move. Posing models. I'm a posing fool. Uh, and then uh, other signature move, excommunicate traitorous. <laughs> oh, I had something on my finger. It hurt. Ow. Speaking of that, I have Inquisitor Martyr now. Woo! My birthday was last Tuesday. My brother gave me a gift card for Steam. I downloaded it today, so it's that it's that pre-release version. So they get to play it in its unfinished form, and then once they finish it, I guess I'll get an update for it. I hope. Hair in my mouth. Um, thank you for the question or the, the comments. Thank you for the stuff. Itic Beer 40K. Oh yes, I forgot. Necron Girl asked the question. He, <laughs> do you think GW will ever make another full-length feature feet, 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 film? I wish they would. Um, I, I like to hope they would. I think. I think. Oh, uh, let, okay, let's put. Uh, if you have, if you've seen um, that little Inquisitor short, whatever it's called, what is it called? That that fan made all on his own or whatever, you know, Kickstarter and all this jazz or whatever. It's not. I don't. I don't think it's any. I think GW said it's okay, cool to do it, but man, if they made that into a movie, that would be pretty cool. I think the other thing I'd like to see as a movie too is maybe like Horace Heresy series, um, and doing it like little. They can do like little miniature movies and spread that bad boy out. I mean, I would love to see Horace Rising turned into some kind of film. You know. Um, or, yeah, yeah, let's start with Horus Rising. Because I'd love to see, like, Garville Loken played on, you know, on the screen, like, live, move, maybe not live action, but animated or whatever. But just, ooh, that'd be so cool to see him. He's like, my favorite character, Garville Loken. Let's have uh, Nathaniel Garrow, too. Have those two guys on screen. That would be beast mode. Um, I wouldn't mind maybe even seeing... Uh, an Inquisitor movie, an Eisenhorn movie, that would be pretty cool. Oh, that would be pretty cool. Who could play Eisenhorn? Tom Hardy, because he plays everybody. Maybe. <laughs> well, thank you, sir. Thank you for the question. Um, I think they will make one eventually. Um, it's just, I think it's just so hard because they have so many, um, so much stuff to do you know uh frost and fist dude you're crushing it glad to see you back in the saddle with your videos face of shame two weeks later uh question of the different styles of martial arts which do you like best kung fu aikido jiu-jitsu straight karate taekwondo keep them coming freak uh well master freak i like what is it? Is it is it a keto? It's the one. There's 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 a type, and I can't remember the name of it. Um, but it's where you use the person's momentum against them. It's a lot of. I wouldn't say it's it's a lot of defensive stuff, but it's a lot of strikes too, and they're, they're not like your typical hardcore strikes. So you're not you're not you're not using full power. But it's enough to, when you're using your, their momentum to deliver your strike, I don't, yeah. A friend of mine, when I used to work at the comic book store, he had he had studied it uh, when he was younger and grew, a little bit growing up in his uh, adult years too. Um, I can't remember what it's called. Maybe, maybe it's Aikido or is it Jiu-Jitsu? I don't know. Maybe you can answer that question for me. 
Um, but I really like that because I like I always like using someone else's mistakes against them. Is that sound, that sounds mean? But um, yeah, and that's something I've I've liked a lot. I've I've seen that a lot, like in uh, just different things, like some using somebody's momentum against them. You know, trying to take them off balance and things like that because they're already coming this way. So I did that in football. Um, Coach was saying, if somebody's coming at you and you're you're blocking them, you're blocking them, and you just feel like you can't get them the right way, then they want to go that way. Then you let them go that way. You throw them down. You just you just let their momentum take them out. You know. So and I kind of like that that idea, that concept. Um, thank you, sir. I appreciate it. And then last but not least ever is my Canadian friend from up north because that's where Canada is. It's north that way for me right now um who took my dice miniature war gaming which has some awesome stuff going on right now he's got these bits box dealios i can't remember what he's named them but it's a. Uh, it's on his channel go check it out he's like grabbing just random bits out of his pot bo box his pox box and building characters that's kind of cool because that's what i like doing too uh, great video, my friend. I truly hope things just keep getting better and better and nothing but love. Your signature is most definitely your free hand. Thank you. Brother, it is amazing. Question, Xenos, army of choice. That is an easy question. It's Eldar. No. Tau. Tau all the way. Until the Demi Erg come out. I want to see those guys. What they would look like. They won't ever come out. Um, but yeah, Tau. Obviously Tau. I just I, I like their little little bitty people. Underdog-esques. But they're not underdogs. They're too overpowered in the game. But I just like them. I think they're cool. So I rambled a lot during this video. And I apologize for that. What? Um... But it, that's, that's me. That's what I do. I'm a rambler. Guys, I love you all. And I thank you so much. Go check out everyone in this video. Who took your dice miniature? Wargaming, Frost and Fist, Itic Beer, The Raven, Wargamer Sean, Kerr and Orange. Kerr Orangelisus. Silisus. Go check them all out. They're super cool cats. Um, amongst that, check out... You can go to my subscribe list and check out everybody on there, too. Um, I got a bunch of cool dudes. I got a couple friends who are just on the precipice of starting their YouTube channels. They're so close. They have the channels, but they haven't done any videos yet. But they're so close because they rock. Hell works with By Hell Child. Super cool. Check him out. Mike Hawkins. Check him out, too, because he's freaking awesome. And then all my other friends are super awesome rad cats. Kuja Hira over at uh, Kuja and Kiwi. I mean, I, I, the list goes on and on. A Big Mac Dan Skull, super rad cat. I, I should probably not name people because I'm going to leave people out. And that's just bad for me. Because I want to give everybody the love. And that would require me going... And I, I don't got time for that, bro. Guys, I love you all. And I thank you so much for joining me again. Back on this Monday. Let me get this. I'm about to stop this. Eat me some lunch. Because my wife says I had to. And then I got to go sit down over there and start painting, man. And get this commission beat. Beat this commission down so I can move forward on other stuff because i got builds upon builds to do guys i love you all i thank you so very much for joining me um keep rocking that nerd life i will see you next time man that was weak did you <laughs> guys i love you all and i thank you so much for joining me keep rocking that nerd life my friends i will see you next time